Hi friends, this is Nidhi and welcome back to my channel. Since Diwali festival is on its way, so I thought to share with you all one snack recipe. Yes, I am talking about the poha chewda or namkeen, which is made using poha that is flattened rice and variety of nuts. Making of this poha chewda is very quick, easy and hassle free. This is the best tea time snack and it can be stored in an airtight container for around 15 days. The best part is I have used only one pot or kadhai for entire chivda preparation. So do give the recipe a nice try. So friends, to get the recipe of this Diwali special easy poha chivda or namkeen, you have to watch my full video. And in case if you like it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And also do press the bell icon so that you may get the notifications of all my further videos. For detailed written recipe and ingredients with their measurements, please visit the description box below. So quickly start the process. So friends, for this recipe, I have taken the thin variety of poha which is easily available in the market. So you have to take one white kadhai and allow it to be heated. And after that, add thin poha to it and roast it over low to medium flame for around 5 to 6 minutes, continuously stirring it till it is crisp and color changes a bit. So friends, as you can see that it's done, so I have removed it over one tray and you can listen to the crunch. It means it's well done. Friends, as you have seen here, we have done the dry roasting of poha, but you can even deep fry it. We have done this to avoid over oiling. Now in the same kadhai, I will add my one cup of makhanas or lotus nuts. So again you have to repeat the same process that you have to dry roast these makhanas over low to medium flame by continuously roasting them till these are crisp. You don't have to make them too brown. One more point is adding makhanas is totally optional. You can even skip it. So as you can see here I have removed my makhanas too. Now in the same kadai I will add enough oil for deep frying of few items. The first item that I will deep fry is around 1 cup of raw peanut. So friends, you have to fry these peanuts over low to medium flame till these are crisp and color changes a bit. You don't have to make them too brown. So as you can see here that these are perfectly done so it's the right time to remove them from the oil. So friends, remove these fried peanuts over tissue paper so that the excess oil may be absorbed. So the next item that I will be deep frying is around 1 4th cup of almonds. So using the same process you have to deep fry them till these are crisp and then you have to remove them over the paper tissue. Next comes the cashews. So as you all know cashews take lesser time to get deep fried. In around 30 seconds they will be done. So just remove them from the oil. Next item that will add to the taste of our chivda is dry coconut flakes. So I am adding few coconut flakes to this oil and I will be deep frying them for few seconds only like cashews and then we have to remove them from the oil. The next item here is raisins. So you have to fry them till these are properly swelled up. As you can see these are perfectly swelled up so just remove them from the oil. So friends all the items that are to be deep fried are now done and these are out here in the tissue paper. Now let's move on towards our tadka. So I have reduced oil to around half tablespoon only in the same kadhai. So as this oil is already heated so I will be adding few curry leaves and few slitted green chilies. So just saute them for few seconds. So once curry leaves and green chilies are sorted well I will be adding around 1 fourth cup of chana dal. So you have to fry this chana dal over low to medium flame till this is crisp. You don't have to make it black. So friends as you can see here our chana dal has now turned golden and it's crisp. So I am adding here around 1 teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder. 
So friends, we will cook this haldi over low flame here for few seconds to remove its rawness. And then immediately add all the fried items and mix well. So friends, at this point of time, I will be adding few dry spices also, like one teaspoon each of amchur powder, Kashmiri red chilli powder, and black salt. Also adding here some white salt to taste, and then roast all these spices over low flame for around one minute. So friends, our tadka is now perfectly ready. So let's add our dry roasted poha and makhana. So at this point of time, after adding poha and makhana, I will be adding around one teaspoon of powdered sugar too. So just switch off the flame and give each and everything a very nice mix. So do remember to add sugar at last because we don't want it to be melted. We just want to mix it. So friends, as you can see here, our poha chibra is now perfectly ready. So just take it out over any tray or plate. See how beautiful color it has got and looks so tempting. So just allow it to be cooled down at room temperature, and then you can store it in any airtight container for around 15 days. The best part is you can increase or decrease the quantity of these items which I have used in chibra preparation as per your own choice, and even you can skip any item if you don't like it. So friends, I am sure you all must have enjoyed this recipe and will definitely try it in this coming Diwali. So do share your feedback and experience in my comment section below. See you soon in my next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.